Welcome, 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 Cancers. This is the month of May. Wow. So, Cancers, um, the month of May, remember that these readings are um, the energy of your house. Cancers, you are in the fourth house. So, whatever is going on um, surrounding you, Cancers, especially look in your house and check out what is happening in the fourth house. I want to say to a lot of you, thank you. Um, I'm trying to get back on track with my readings. Uh, there was so much that was going on. And now, okay, so I see um, something is going to come to an end uh, for you cancers and you're going to be looking to move forward. Okay, so something is going to be ending in your life and you're going to be looking to move forward in a new direction. Okay, you have the energy of the three of one. So whatever is going on cancer that is your energy the energy of the three of ones you are going to be recognizing either you're going to be ending something or you're going to be moving forward and we're looking for new avenues okay all right let's look at your first house your first house is that you're seeing the truth about the situation a lot of you cancers are going to be seeing the truth about your friends a lot of you cancers are going to be recognizing that you had enemies okay there's the two black birds those are your enemies a lot of you cancers is going to be recognizing that the aries was your greatest enemy and you were not aware a lot of you cancers is going to be going within this is the first house it's about the self a lot of you cancers is going to be going within and looking at your relationship and people around you regrets surrounding a whole lot of money this is the energy of the second house a lot of you cancers have went within and recognized um, that a Aries and a Pisces, there's something that is, um, a lot of you are going to be having some sort of issues, um, especially with an Aries and a Pisces. And uh, there's a lot of emotional situations surrounding an Aries person. You're going to be seeing the truth of an Aries person that you are dealing with cancer and recognize that this Aries person had some sort of a play. Um, they, they had a role in a situation that was happening in your world. Justice is in the reverse. I don't know what is going on. But a lot of you cancers are dealing with some sort of a legal issue. It could be divorced with a Gemini. This is in the house of the Gemini. This is the third house. There is no luck with a legal situation in the third house. This is the, another major issue. And this is the third house, the environment. And I see a lot of you cancers could be leaving the situation behind. Justice is in the reverse. In the fifth house, no good news for Leo. If you cancer and Leo had collaborated and did something or you were trying to help a Leo, no good news for this Leo. Um, Jupiter is not in accordance with this Leo. Um, they're recognizing the connection between an Aries and a Leo and what has transpired. In the sixth house, the energy of the devil is in reverse. You can serve um, some sort of a problem at home. There was some sort of a negative forces or control. Uh, there could have been some sort of a controlling situation that was going on. The energy of the devil in the sixth house is in the reverse. In the seventh house, this was a karmatic situation. You cancers were dealing with a horrible situation that was karma. Karma. This situation is from a past life. A situation is definitely from a past life. Wow. A lot of you um, cancers is not really recognizing that a Aries person really carries the energy of the devil. Okay. Aries, um, the devil is, uh, um, a lot of people say that the devil is, the devil is Capricorn. Oh my God. It's Mars in Aries. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Um, the eight house, the eight house, it has something to do with the seven of pentacles in the energy of the eight house. Um, you cancers are going to decide not to work on a situation anymore. You're going to be letting go of a situation. It could be a situation at work surrounding, um, uh, working with a scorpion or connecting with a scorpion. You're going to be letting it go. Okay, um, and for some of you, you let it go. For some of you, you can't let it go. It's as if you have to uh, resolve the situation. Okay, so whatever is going on, because it's as if there's a problematic situation, a lot of you cancers is going to be recognizing something to do with a Leo. Whoever you are, whether it's your brother, whether it's your friend, whether it's a family member, this is the karmatic situation you're dealing with with a Leo. Okay. The truth is coming out about a dead Pisces woman. They recognize that you cancers 
are not connected to a dead Pisces woman. Um, they're not recognizing that you cancers could have used a Leo, gave a Leo some sort of information and data, and they recognize this Leo was carrying a dead Pisces woman information. This woman is dead. Let her be and let this woman rest in peace. Go back to where you come from. You are not the child of this dead Pisces woman, okay? So back the fuck up now. Wow, I mean, serious, you're mentally disturbed. You and your mother, Dalia. Then they're not going to be recognizing what was going on. They're going to be recognizing that you can't just try to work against a Taurus Virgo or a Capcom person. Whoever you cancers are was trying to take this person life over. And it is a situation that they're going to be recognizing and gaining full details of who you are, that you're not an American citizen and that you're from Africa. And however you got some sort of a, a documentation to get in the United States of America, you weren't born there. So, they tell you, wow. So, peeping authority is now going to be gaining full understanding, Miss Lilla Cancer. Oh, yeah. You all just think that you can fool people in authority. Get real. Governments are getting more smarter than you all little criminals think, okay? Because you see the thing about the criminals, you always think that you're one up against government institution organization. Governments are getting much more smarter, you little bitch. Much more smarter. There's a major, major situation that is going to be coming up. And a lot of you cancers, you're okay. But cancers between the ages of 18 and 45, you mess with the wrong family. You mess with the wrong person, okay? And you got yourself really entwined in these people. And you use your little black magic and witchcraft. So you could have manipulated people in authority. But listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. There's a time that comes that the universe said, little, little lady, what did you come to this planet to learn? You're, you need to resolve the situation. And you see, the universe stopped in. Okay, because people in authority is now seeing who you are, little cancer. Okay, for the rest of you cancers, something is going to be coming out about a group of people. All right. And this is, this, is, this is actually very good because this has something to do with the sixth house and energy of the devil. There's major situation that is going on um, in the month of May for you, Kansas. Major situation, okay? In the 12th house, oh yeah, a Pisces is going to be, um, whatever is going on in the 12th house, a Pisces is like, no, I'm not playing your games. I don't know what is going on, Cancer, but a Pisces is going to be standing up and said, no, I'm not playing your games. You know, this situation needs to be resolved. People in authority could be standing up and said, no, 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 no. You went a little bit too far, Missy. And a Gemini is going to be clearing their karmas by standing up and showing you up that you are not the person. And this Gemini is, uh, this Gemini is like Jesus Christ. How in God's name um, was I so blindfolded? Yes, this Gemini veil of illusion is coming off now, Cancer. Okay, whatever the little witchcraft, magic, black magic, whatever you gave this Gemini to eat or drink, that motherfucker thing is wearing out. Gemini is seeing you for who you are, Missy. Okay, all right, witchcraft and shit can't. Control people when the universe decide that debt should be over, when the universe decide that dishonesty should be over, Missy, all your little witchcraft or whatever you give that poor man to drink, okay, because his mouth was full with sores, okay, and you need to go to the doctor, and your little bleaching cream that you were using was really messing up that little man um, body, okay, justice to be prevailed. For the rest of you, Cancer, it's a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful month for you, um, Cancers. Absolutely fabulous, Cancers. Especially Cancers that really work on yourself as a person. A beautiful, beautiful uh, situation is coming out. 
um, cancers, cancers who were holding back money or who had to receive money that was not yours, you have to return it. Okay, cancers that needed to um, uh, return money or pay out money, you have to return this money, okay? You really have to return this money. Uh, and cancers who uh, try to manipulate a situation surrounding a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, the law is protecting this person. You need to return the money that you were lyingly taking from this person, using their data and information, and accessing money taken from this person and their family. You need to return the money, okay? Whoa, a Capricorn person is going to be having... Um, it, for some of you as a, as a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, it's going to be having a huge, huge success. And uh, people in authority is going to be making sure that this money is returned to this woman. Uh, they're not going to be recognizing that you, Cancer, who was married and in a relationship with a Gemini, you um, access data and information of this Gemini person, uh, computer, where a Capricorn family data and information, the death, the information of a Capricorn family and use it to give your family to gain status in a country. And they're not going to be recognizing that you are not who you are. You were not born in North America. You were born in Africa. And they're not going to be understanding what was going on. And you know the thing about it? You people call us sold out slave. Guess what, honey? I prefer to be a sold out slave than to be a criminal as you are. Back up now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you know how people are so racist against their own color and everybody is saying that um, we're all from Africa. No, uh, I am one of these people. Uh oh, no, no. I am not from Africa. I really don't care what you people say. I was not born in Africa, okay? And we can all be from Africa, but do you think that the Africans want us to be from Africans, okay? And we, North Americans who were born in North America, they call us sold out slaves. So wake up all of you. Oh, I want to get to, and I want to go back to Africa. They don't want you. You're sold out slave, okay? We need to understand who we are. We have a uh, European bloodline. Okay, and we are called Soldo Slave. They say that we are no Africans. So all of you that is running, oh, an African, <laughs> you, were you born in Africa? No, you have a brown color that doesn't say um, African American. No, they're not really African American. Okay, all right. There are Americans that comes from African offset. And is that so? No, because they were all born in America. Okay, so, you know, I don't know why people need to connect themselves uh, to some group or, or some connection. For me, I am myself. I am not connected to any group. I don't want to be connected to any group, okay? Because um, when you connect yourself to a group, it is not who you are and it's not your characteristic, okay? Races, everyone has gone through all races. And to give you something, all black people were white people in the former life, okay? All Chinese and Indians, they were, it's reverse. All of us, once you have a soul, not all of us on this planet have a soul. There are people on this planet that has absolutely no souls. You can find them because they're narcissistic, okay? Those are people who have no soul. They have no emotions. They don't care a fuck what they do to you, okay? because they're narcissistic. They have no soul, they have no essence, okay? And these are, they, um, they, they suck your energy dry. They suck you dry of whatever you have, okay? So wake up, ladies and gentlemen, all right? You choose the color and the body that you're in because you're here to work out your karmas, okay? All right? And for the people who feel as if they're in the wrong body, yes, you are. You know who you are, okay? Yes, you are in the wrong body. All right, so whatever is coming up, a lot of you cancers have to return a whole lot of money, especially cancers between the ages of 18 and 45. 
you and your family they're going to be recognized what you and your family has done okay and this is what I say to a lot of people and people are talking about uh, races and the rest of it there is a lot of people a lot of women who go with men from another race only to get a social connection okay and when you're going to be speaking and ladies and gentlemen and men get uh, men you really need to stop thinking with your uh, masculine part and think if a woman says uh, my parents or my family doesn't like your race then do not go with that person because that person is using you for social convenience stop thinking with your male part and think about the resolution if a family do not like your race don't go with that person they're going to be using you okay all right so cancers the beautiful beautiful a lot of you cancers is going to be recognizing that a Aries and a Virgo you're going to be finding out something about a Aries and a Virgo and you're going to be very very surprised extremely surprised whatever is going on you're going to be so surprised to find out what was going on, what an Aries and a Virgo was up to, okay? What else is to look for? The third house. Legal action. Legal problem in the third house. In the sixth house, there was some sort of a problematic situation where someone was a mask mining, a Virgo and an, an Aries. They did something and it is all going to be coming out because people in authority in the 11th house, listen, the sun is in the reverse in the 11th house. And this means that people in authority recognize the collaboration of an Aquarius, an Aries, and um, and a Virgo. What they were doing, okay? These people were doing. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Communication. People in authority now recognize what a, a Virgo and a Aries have done. Okay. So you know, ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Oh yeah, I told you. <laughs> listen i told you they are going to be recognizing what an aries and a virgo have done people in authority is getting to the bottom of a situation recognizing the collaboration of an aries and a virgo and the criminal uh, situation that they were carrying out together here it is the truth is going to be coming out energy of aquarian okay authority Okay, they now recognize the collaboration. I did tell you that an Aries and someone else did something and it's all going to be coming out. This Aries and this Virgo collaborated and did something. For some of you, it's the Aries that you live with. This person is a criminal. They did a criminal offense. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, some sort of a news is going to be coming in that you're going to be regretting a situation. Cancers, yes, some sort of a legal situation. Where you need to pay back some money is going to be coming in cancers. A lot of you cancers, some sort of a problematic situation, emotional, where you're going to be walking away because um, it's like the law is going to be coming in and said, cancer, you need to pay this money back now. It can be a bank financial institution or it can be a credit card company where they're going to be recognizing that someone someone who is listening to this or a cancer who is listening to this you use someone else's information and data and got some sort of a debit card or a bank card or a credit card and the and law is going to be coming in that you need to return all the money to this bank or this financial institution justice is in the reverse they now recognize what a gemini woman of a liberal woman and her child have done so i don't know if you're married to this uh, gemini woman or this liberal woman but they're now gaining a whole lot of understanding um and they're going to be recognizing that you cancers could have done something to a woman and her child in the past and it's coming out now to bite you in the butt and i see if you are married to a gemini person a gemini person is going to be saying you need to make this right whatever is going on and i see that it's a situation concerning a child you can sir and this gemini person because the energy of the liberal is coming up in the house of the gemini and the gemini is going to try to make it right 
because it's as if the law is going to be recognized in the true story behind a situation that is going on and the law is stepping in and it's going to be making it right. So you can, sir, that is having a situation with a child, they're going to be recognizing something whether you adopted this child or whether this child, whatever is going on, it is coming out and they're not going to be finding out the truth surrounding either your child or a child that you're connected to. Um, if you are married to a cancer and you had a child, um, you cancers are married to a Gemini or you're married, the, the father is going to be having full access of this child, not you cancers, okay? An Aries man is now very, very worried. I did say to you, ladies and gentlemen, in the house of the Aries, this Aries man is very, very worried. You can sense that is living with an Aries man. This man is very worried. Whoa, whoa. This man is very worried. Heart breaks. A man is now very, very worried because people are finding out the truth of who this man is. A lot of you cancers who had collaborated with an Aries man Heartbreaks, a Harry's or a Libra man. Heartbreaks because you're going to be recognizing that this man is a crook or this man is now caught up in some sort of a problem. So a lot of you cancers, if you were married in a relationship or divorced in an Aries man or divorced in someone, this man, heartbreaks for this man because this man is now very worried. This man is going to be looking to find to get out and run away to another place or another city because people are finding out the truth about who this man is. Um, some sort of a new love that you cancers were hoping to have with a Leo or some sort of an affair. People in authority recognize what was going on. I see that some sort of a news you were hoping to receive um, from a friend or someone is not coming in. I see they're going to be recognizing that some of you cancers had some sort of an affair with someone whoever this person is this person is a friend that you were having an affair with no good news for this leo because they know they recognize that you cancer it is um a side of a side chick or a fuck buddy for you cancers the law came down on um this person whoever this person is has been caught this person is a leo person and the law recognized what was going on your enemy is going to be down uh there was a lot of collaboration Oh yeah, um, yeah. Cancers, I don't know if you were dealing with a Virgo or you're in a relationship with a Virgo. Um, this Virgo had collaborated and work against you. Not all of you cancer, some of you cancer. So some of you cancer, whatever that was going on, if you were living with this Virgo because it's in the sixth house or it could be a, um, your co-worker, it is down. The network, the working that they were collaborating, working, you, your enemy was working against you, Cancer. This is in the sixth house. You could have lived with this person or it could be a Virgo at the workplace. So, all right. They're not going to be recognizing something about your husband. I see this man cannot travel, cannot move forward. Uh, this man has to pay, repay his karma, whoever this man is. Um, you can says your husband, some sort of a problematic situation with your husband and this person, if you, you can says are married to a Leo or this is your brother or this is someone you're in a relationship with, they're recognizing what this person have done in the past. They're, they're gaining a, a whole new understanding of this person. Yeah. I see you're going to be overcoming what the Taurus have done. Whoever was dealing with a Taurus, um, if a Taurus, yes, um, I see some sort of a new understanding uh, is going to be coming in. Uh, if you had collaborated with a Taurus to work against a Scorpion person, this person is going to be uh, successfully overcoming you Cancers, okay? Um, you Cancers that a Taurus and a Scorpion work against you, it's all going to be coming out. People are going to be finding out the truth of what was going on. There's a huge success in the in the eighth house. So think about what happens in the eighth house and how it's going to affect you. There is some sort of a new a huge success and a new start. Let's look at your ninth house. Yes, they're recognizing and seeing the truth of a Pisces woman. Yeah, they recognize that the Pisces woman is dead. They're recognizing, and this is a, a situation for a young cancer. They're not going to be recognizing you are not the family of this young Pisces, of this Pisces woman. You are no family. See you? The family is in the reverse. You're neither the child, neither the grandchild, 
of a dead Pisces woman from another country. They're now finding out the truth, you little cancer, and it's now recognizing that you copy, you access, you broke, you broke in the computer of your so-called partner, a young Gemini man, recognized that the details and information of a dead Pisces woman and her child was in the computer because that Gemini man lived in the house of the Capricorn and they now recognize how you could have gotten so much information, you crooked little bitch. You should go to jail for the rest of your life, okay? And let me tell you something, you better return my child because I know who you are, okay? The information was in the Gemini computer, just like how you broke in the Gemini computer in 20, 2015 and get my telephone number and send me a text that said you are going to ruin my life. Now let's see whose life is ruined because you thought that you were going to be using witchcraft and black magic. Okay, and you thought you could come after my life, but lady, who has the last laugh now? Who have the last laugh now? Do not, and I would say to you, do not go against a star seed. Okay, do not go against God children. Okay, you're evil. You are evil and you can sit there and you can watch me. You come after my life again and you're going to pay. Remember. And it's not going to be here because this is a karmatic planet. We all are going to be leaving this planet. Okay? So you think that you could get away with everything because you used witchcraft and black magic, okay? The universe, this planet, they are responsible, not the people here with their false rules, okay? And trust me, your karma and what you have done will be repaid when we all leave this planet, okay? So now, little girl, do not ever try to walk in my shoes, okay? Neither my family, it's my bloodline. And I came here to clear my bloodline and it will be cleared. And you return my son because you know where my son is. So now they're recognizing that this dead Pisces woman is no family of you, okay? And now they're going to be recognizing that you went on this Gemini computer, okay? Because the Aries help you. Uh, Aries help you. You went on this Gemini computer and his telephone because you told the Gemini that Gemini could not be friends. That is one of my best friends. Okay? And you told the Gemini, you can't be friends with this person because you know you are a friggin' little crook. Yeah? You come from America looking for bleach cream and live in Antwerpa. Okay? You live in Belgium where bleaching cream. Why the hell you needed my address to send your bleaching cream from Nigeria? Listen. Not everyone is stupid. You little. You are not the child of this dead Pisces woman. And they're not going to be going back. And it's going to be finding out how you and your criminal organization has been accessing people details and information in Europe and has been bringing in your criminal people. Wrong person, wrong place, wrong time. So now, they're going to be recognizing you were not born in North America. You were not born in America. They're going to be recognizing that you all got some sort of an illegal person to give you documents and information, okay? They're going to find out. As we move on, ladies and gentlemen, at Tower Moment. And this Tower Moment is coming up because they're going to be recognizing um, what this Knight of Wands, this is an Aries person. A Tower Moment for Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person is coming up for an Aries person. They're now going to be gaining a whole lot of understanding of a young Aries person, who this person is and what is going on. Um, you cancers could be firing an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person at the workplace. 
you're going to be ending work for this person, this Aries Leo or Sagittarius person at a workplace. Because you, Cancers, who is a manager or a boss, is going to be gaining a whole lot of understanding of a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius person at a workplace. And I see that you, Cancers, are very saddened about this, okay? A tower moment for this person, because whoever this Aries person is, if it's the Aries, this person is caught um, being stealing something. So a lot of you cancers are going to be firing a Aries Leo or Sagittarian person at the workplace. You're going to be recognizing also something about their documentation that is not completed. You're also going to be finding out because a theft was created. They investigate the situation and they now recognize who was doing the situation. And end. end is coming in. Yes, yes, yes. I told you someone is going to jail. Bam, bam, bam. Stay it up. Bam, bam. A end is going to be coming in. Someone is going to be going to jail because a Gemini is going to be speaking the truth. A Gemini decided that I'm not going to jail for this shit. Mm -mm. I am going to be giving up everyone in the situation. I am not letting this thing go. So a whole lot of communication came out that they're not going to be recognizing and they're going to be getting a lot of details and information and it's now recognizing what was going on. So ladies and gentlemen, you see the thing about it is that whatever is going on, some sort of a communication and information is now out. There was data and information that was kept. There's data and information that people created some sort of an illusion around. It is all going to be coming out because a Gemini decided I'm getting to the bottom of the situation. A Gemini decided I'm getting to the bottom of the story. A Gemini decided this. I am not taking this fall for you. I am getting out of this situation. So I don't know who this Gemini is to you, whether you're married to this Gemini, whether this Gemini is your sister or your brother, but they are not going to take the fall with you, Cancer. So you need to um, find some sort of a help getting out of this situation. So a Gemini is not going to be recognizing and is going to be walking away because the Gemini is going to be making sure that a Pisces person regain a whole lot of money. A Gemini is going to be helping a Pisces person to overcome a situation. Um, I see that they're going to be recognizing that uh, uh, if you are a cancer that had married to a Gemini person, they're going to be recognizing that it was only based on monetary. It was not based on love. It was only about the money. And I see a Gemini um, is going to be helping a Pisces in order to gain a lot of money and walk away from a situation because they're going to be recognizing that um, someone was behind this. It could be you. Uh, cancers are going to be helping to return a whole lot of money to a, a, a um, you cancers are going to be helping a Pisces to regain a whole lot of money but I see that a Gemini is going to be walking away a Gemini is like going to be protecting a Pisces from you cancer some of you not all of you and this Gemini is going to be helping it can be Gemini but it could be people in authority because they're going to be recognizing if it's people in authority they're going to be recognizing that a Pisces person was um, used as a pawn in a, in a huge play um, that was going on that you cancers could have co-create or you cancers are now recognizing what was going on and it's going to be returning. But a Gemini or people in authority is going to be doing the right thing because they're ending this karma. Whoever uh, uh, you were connected with in the house, especially a Pisces, and that is a 12th house. A Pisces is going to be using the sword of truth and is going to make something right. And I see that a Pisces could be regaining a whole lot of money because a Gemini could be working together to collaborate with a Pisces in order to resolve a situation. And it's, this is going to be bringing up a whole lot of money and returning like a whole lot of money um, to a family, okay? So, uh, you know, you're going to be ending karma and a Gemini is going to be saying, let this go. And, I, you know, I don't know how you're connected with this Gemini and who this Gemini is, but this Gemini is going to be saying to you, Ken, so let this thing go, let this thing go. And this Gemini is going to be standing up and is going to be working in collaboration in order to help um, um, a Pisces and this Gemini is like going to be clearing karma. Um, and they're going to be regaining a whole lot of money. So whatever is going on, a lot of you are going to be dealing with Gemini and Pisces, uh, especially whoever this Pisces woman is that is dead. 
um, whatever is going on. This Pisces woman is like, you know, moving out of her grave because this Pisces woman is now recognizing and is, you know, is watching the situation and is recognizing, you know, my child has not done these people anything. You know, you target my child for the reason that she um, was given something and you target my child. And whatever is going on, because this is in the night house, this is about foreign and this is about the spirit world is saying, you, cancer, is not my child. Or you, cancer, have done this injustice to my child when my child doesn't deserve this, whatever is going on. So cancers, you know, look at your situation, how this is affecting you. A lot of you cancers might be regaining money because some sort of a karmatic situation. Um, you're going to be finding out something about the corresponding with the Aries and a Virgo. Uh, Virgo is going to become your greatest enemy. There's a lot of sadness for a lot uh, for a cancer man, a cancer man and an Aries man. A lot of sadness for a cancer man and an Aries man. A lot of regrets is going to be coming up. I love you guys. I gotta go. Please remember to like and share. Namaste.